Hey there, you guys. I wanted to come with or come visit with you really, really quick today and say some, share some words of wisdom with you. Um, so, it's Thursday here and it's been very snowy and now it's very warm and sunny. And I realize when I get faced with challenges that if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Now, here's the thing. I think that the, your words are seeds and the power of language is something that will change the future of your life. And I have learned this from a very young age when I started to keep a diary when I was a kid and then that led to keeping a quotes journal and then journaling. So I'm curious how many of you either journal, write down quotes, or keep a diary. Go ahead and comment below if you do that or if you've started doing that and have you had results. Because the thing that I've found out is if we don't harness the power of what happens between our two ears and we don't overcome the limiting beliefs that we hold really deeply in our subconscious minds, that's we create our own prison. And so the reason I wanted to come to you today really briefly is to encourage you to start to journal, reflect on what triggers you and causes you to go into an emotional reaction mode instead of a proactive mode, a victim mindset instead of a person who uh, determines the course or direction of things according to the challenges that they face. And here's what I know. If you are looking for freedom to any degree, you guys, I'm trying to kneel on the floor because I have a bad setup here, but oh well. Um, if you're trying to create freedom in your life to any degree, it will first start with what you allow to happen up here. And I've learned that we can harness the power of our minds when we slow down enough and write down things that trigger us, when we ask questions, when we see those emotional triggers and where we get reactionary or blaming, um, you know, like it's somebody else's fault or they mistreated you and that's why everything sucks, right? No, it's time to take ownership and take back your power, live an empowered life by writing things down. Slow down enough to write it down. So if you, I know Wendy, you're watching, if you have ever come across a question that you've been able to ask yourself to help you work through something, I want you to share that with people below. Casey, I know you've been working through this too, so don't be shy, you guys. Share below what has helped you transform your lives. My one of my questions, and I think that we can really transform our lives when we operate from this empowering place of asking questions rather than trying to create a story. And that's what our brains do. Our subconscious mind and our conscious mind, they don't wanna be in misalignment. And so they're trying to um, look for proof about the beliefs. So in order to turn these awarenesses into shifts and change the, your direction, it is making the decision today that you're going to harness the power of what happens in these six inches. Think about that, six inches of space <laughs> that you carry with you every day, the six inches between your ears, that can determine the direction of your life. That can determine the level of self-love that you have. That determines the level of service that you're gonna give to the world. That determines the abundant flow of money coming into your life. Right here, between your ears, six inches. And guess what? You have access to it 24-7, 365. So make that decision today that you're going to harness the power of what you have been gifted with here Use your journal, meditation. Oh my gosh, you all, I love it so much. I look forward to it every day. I do it first thing in the morning and then last thing as I fall asleep at night. If I wake up at night, I use that as prayer time, journaling time, and more meditation time. My favorite apps are Breathe and Abide. Type those in the comments for me. It's two E's for Breathe. And I wanted to just come on here today and encourage you. If you've been frustrated and stuck, these are some tools that will get you out of it. And honestly, it takes a daily effort to have a calm personality where you work from this place of knowing and abundance and like you are the captain of your ship. You're not just adrift at the storms of life here. You all have this power. It's all within your grasp. It's so close that you don't even recognize it. So let's do it, okay? 
All right, I just wanted to say hi and share that with you today. And uh, one of the things, or powerful questions, that's what we're getting back to. One of the powerful questions is to ask, what if I am designed for limitless amounts of love and money? What if I'm a, I am designed to live a life of ease and peace and calm and love? Ask yourself those questions many times a day. Write that down. I dare you, if you've never written down those questions, I dare you, rewind this video, write them down, and start to allow those questions to pop up instead of the same old story that you spin to yourself day in and day out and create the re same results. The only way to change your results is to change the questions that you ask. And the only way we can do that is to slow down enough and write it. And in this digital age, you all, it's a lost art. So you want to get a step ahead of the pack? This is how you do it. You slow down, you write it down. You allow your brain to ask bigger questions, better questions, and then write down what your beliefs are about money or about love. And then ask the question, why do I believe that? What proof do I have? How can I change this belief? Start to look for proof that the opposite is true. God will show it to you, it's all around. And start to ask yourself, what if, Every day, I am showered in miracles, and I just don't see it, because I know that you are. All right, I love you guys. I can't wait to go live with you again. Um, I'm just gonna start doing these random impromptu ones. For some reason, I always feel like I have to announce it and tell you all when I'm going live, but I'm not gonna do that anymore because it holds me back from sharing this, these messages. And um, I'm also getting ready to launch my podcast, so if you're excited to see that, drop a comment below. Don't forget to click follow or turn on your notifications so you get uh, notified when I go live again. And, um, oh yes, my Instagram stories. I think I'm doing a very good job lately. I just got an awesome package today called the Best Friends Forever Package and I posted it on my Instagram stories so hop over there and see that. It is so cute. All right, love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.